Now it's just clumped into sugar and oil. <laughs> Bake and fail. another day of vlogmas and today it is mainly going to be a christmas baking video so i've got a few different recipes that i've seen online on on other people's videos i'm going to make for you so let me just take a look at exactly what it is i'm going to make so i've got my notebook here and i am going to bake christmas crack sugar cookies and peppermint bark oh i forgot i was making the peppermint bark that makes me excited <laughs> so yeah i'm going to make those three things today I've got all my supplies in a bag upstairs, so let's go get those and get on with it. Get my little bag of goodies. Come, babes. So I've got my bag of all my baking goodies. Got my book with all the recipes and ingredients on. I've got to find the page again. Oh, turn straight to it. There we go. I think I might go for making the Christmas crack first because I've never made that and that's the one I'm like most excited for. So let's see what I need for that. And so I've got to layer the crackers on the greaseproof paper. Then now I need to melt the butter and add one cup of sugar. I also forgot to say that all these recipes are vegan as well. So this is a vegan butter alternative which I think is just going to go down into like an oil so I might need a little bit more sugar. Oh, bit me arm. Um, so it was starting out really good, and now what the heat? This is a situation like it's just started to separate. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do right now. You got any ideas, Lee? So I was mixing it like it told me to do, and then I thought. It might just take longer because it's got a higher boiling point and it started to mix really well and now it's kind of separated. Have you just tried stirring it? Just yeah, it just keeps more separating more and more the more I stir it. Come have a look. Now it's just clumped into sugar and oil. <laughs> Bacon fail. Do you reckon I just try it with my vegan butter? Um, What's what, that? what was the what did the recipe say? Just mix it in. Yeah, but it's for butter though, like not. Yeah. Uh, so this is sunflower, rapeseed, and palm, which that is as well, isn't it? Yeah. But this does have water in it as well. I do you reckon I should do try it with a little bit of this. Why in that way? You've got already got. No, I'll try and sieve that oil out. And try it with a bit of this, see what happens. Yeah, do that. Yeah, you should still be able to use that to a Yeah, that's what I mean, I'll be able to, it's all separated, so I'll be yeah. able to like sieve that oil out, put it in like a Tupperware. Yeah. And try it with this. Yeah, just give it a go with that, see if it'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Round two at making caramel. Ding ding. ding ding ding. Put it back on low heat. And I'm gonna add just like normal vegan butter and see what happens. Yeah, that's how it should be, look. Like caramel. I wasn't even gonna get that other butter, you know. But it said, told me on it that it was really good for like baking and Instead of butter? Well, no, it's not better for caramel. Yeah, see this is what's meant to happen. It's meant to go like all foamy and frothy. Okay, so I don't know what happened then, but my camera cut out and it said like there was a technical error and now it's not showing that little clip. So I'm not entirely sure what we saw or what we didn't, but I've decided to add the Vitalite vegan butter substitute instead. And that is doing so much better. Like. This has probably got like another minute or probably just less to go and that actually looks like caramel like it would with normal butter. So yeah, don't even bother getting the Trex 
baking substitute just go with the vital life normal butter yes now that's going like caramel should all frothy and deliciousness looks so gorgeous okay so let's turn that off the heat now i'm going to pour this all over the ritz crackers Now that course we baked for five minutes, so I'm going to pop it in the oven for five minutes. So now I'm going to bring these out, I'm going to sprinkle chocolate chips all over, there we go, it's done. And then pop them back in the oven for two minutes. So I've just realised that my recipe calls for vanilla extract but at no point did I see to add the vanilla extract so I'm just going to ignore that and put it back in the cupboard. Oh this looks good! Oh it smells so good! So I'm just going to take my knife and spread out Ooh, these chocolate chips. Do you know what it smells like? You remember when you used to do bacon when you were little and made like crispy buns? Oh man, that's what it smells like. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my little sprinkles and sprinkle them all over the top. Da -da -da -da. And there we have it. Now I've just got to let it cool down. So I'm going to pop it in the fridge. Now don't judge my fridge because I've had to shove everything else on those shelves, it actually doesn't look too bad, so that I can put it on the top shelf there. And then we'll just let that cool down. And then when it's fully cooled, that's when you can like crack it up, and that's where the name of the Christmas crack comes from. So I'm sure I'll show you once it's all cooled and cracked up. So that's the first recipe done. Let's just have a little clear around so it doesn't get too cray. And then I'm gonna move on to the next recipe, and I think I'm gonna... Oh, well, the peppermint bark is going to need the fridge also, so that means I should now do the sugar cookies, which is exciting. Let's take a look at what we need for that. So we need butter. Probably just going to use regular butter, let's be honest. Sugar, vanilla, flour, almond extract, baking soda, salt, milk, cookie cutters, and a rolling pin. So let me get all of that out, and then I'll be back. Okay, so moving on to the sugar cookies now. You get down, you can't have any. So I need to cream butter and sugar. So I need a third cup of sugar. Third cup of sugar. How much butter? A half cup of butter. I'm just going to stick to the regular vegan butter, I'm not going to go fancy because that didn't work out for me last time. So I need one teaspoon of vanilla, about a teaspoon, so just a little dash of the almond. Flour, how much flour do we need? Two cups. Okay, so I'm just going to give this dough a quick 10 to 20 minute blast in the freezer. Okay, so the dough has been chilling in the freezer for about 10 minutes now, so I'm going to get it out and I'm going to roll it all out and then use the cookie cutters, which I've got. I don't know which ones we're going to use, probably just going to use a whole range of different shapes and then we're going to pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. So I'm probably just going to speed all of this up now.
okay so all the sugar cookies are now baked and I think it was a huge success like I had a little taste of one and the taste is super nice but if anything it actually needs to be a little bit sweeter so I think what I'm going to do is I've got a spare bag of chocolate chips so I think I'm going to melt that down and then just drizzle them all over it and maybe like sprinkle them with like a little bit of sugar or just going to play it by ear really going to see what we fancy doing. is done I think I'm going to leave it like that because the chocolate is dark so it'll be really sweet as well and I actually think I'm gonna leave the peppermint back until another day as it's probably a, a lot to get through oh before I go I need to see if the Christmas crack is ready to crack oh yeah it's hard enough let's crack it And there is my two bowls of Christmas crack. I'm super pleased with how it tasted. Well, and how it turned out. So I have never tried Christmas crack before. And it wasn't anything like I was expecting it to be. It is a lot sweeter than what I thought. You can definitely taste like all the caramel in there once it worked out. So I think next time perhaps I maybe do a little bit less caramel and sprinkle like some sea salt on the top of there to really get like the saltiness because the bits crackers just seem like a cracky you don't really get the saltiness through so yeah I think next time I do it I'll try and do it a little bit more savoury so less caramel and a sprinkle of sea salt and see how that turns out but yeah super happy with all of my baking from today like I say I'm gonna leave the peppermint back till another day nearer to Christmas because yeah there's a lot for us to get through here. I'm definitely going to be sending some off to like family and my niece and nephew because I just can't get through all this by myself. Well, me and Lee can't get through all this. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching another day of Vlogmas with us. Make sure you go back and watch the ones that I've already put up and make sure you subscribe so that you see tomorrow's video and the rest until Christmas Day. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Christmas memories